I'm not doing much vlogging at Schoolie Palooza, but I figured I'd want to show my boy Tim here. <laughs> we'll flip the camera around so we can talk a little bit. Complex setup. I mean, bro, this is pretty legit. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up for everybody so they can see. But you're in a Tacoma, man. I'm, uh... It's called minimalism. All right. To its finest, right here, man. I don't need a faucet. <laughs> About right here. Food. Check. Sleeping bag. Check. Two sleeping bags. Okay, because it gets cold out here in the desert. And two bed mats. I mean, we call this quote unquote cowboy camping, right? Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm a bit of a cowboy. <laughs> uh, so, by the way, for everybody's. I'm, I'm a bit of a bad boy. You are a bit of a bad boy. Yeah. Uh, for people's context, Tim and I actually know each other from Portland. <laughs> um, I didn't just like randomly like find a guy out here <laughs> in the back of a truck. <laughs> Him and I are actually old friends. Um, dude, you just got this truck though. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I used to have a van. I sold it. I got a truck to just buy wood. I needed to put wood somewhere. <laughs> so you went out and got one of the nicest trucks on the road? Yeah, I wasted a lot of money. <laughs> and then I was gonna like put a tarp over it and I was like, then I can't see stars. And so now I just, so you, you camp hardcore in this thing, huh? <laughs> this is all you need right here, bro. This is it. Yeah. Where's your bathroom? You're looking at it. Man. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to say. Like, we're just out here in the wilderness. <laughs> there it is, everybody. You got a poop shovel? Ooh. We well, need to get you one. But you're giving me good ideas. Stuff I need to get. This is my first, uh, this is a trial run. Is it? Yeah. All right, well. I wanted to show, I'm about to tour the van right there uh, for everybody, uh, which are some of your friends. Yes, I did like help build this. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay, well we're gonna give that context then. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Gonna go tour, see you guys later. Get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, I uh, just made coffee that you saw this morning and I am now with Clay from the Bohemian Nomads. What up y'all? This is where uh, I am, I'm picking up the pup. Clay has been an amazing dog dad. Alyssa's also around here somewhere, she's- Dropping off a puppy, another one. Yeah. Um, Denali is going to the Hawking family over here. Alyssa's running in right now. Like, oh, okay. How many you got left now? We have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then Smokey's going as well. So yeah. Um, when you guys leave, it's gonna be down to six. There's Alyssa right there. Hey! <laughs> uh, I also brought you a birthday present. Thank you. Slash thank you gift. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. six and then we're keeping two and two are going back to her parents. So we're gonna be at two left, um, which is wild to think. Like, How's the uh, eight weeks been? Long. Crazy busy, <laughs> crazy busy. Um, guys, this is their bus. We're gonna get a tour in of it uh, eventually with them today yes. yeah. uh, before they leave, before I, we, I leave, whatever. But, but this is our craziness right now, before these guys go outside. This yeah, is how we... you have a full on zoo up in here. Yeah, yes. this, this is how we uh, house 11 puppies. That's Smokey? He's yeah, huge. Smokey, he's yeah. a tank. I, yeah, he is, he is a big, he's big a boy, yeah. Um, wow. Oh my God. Look at all these rolls. Look at these rolls. Uh, it's going to the perfect owner, by the yeah. way. Smokey is like <laughs> meant for that owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I met I met Kay's uh, yesterday, and like the dude is like I don't know. They're a match made in heaven, right there. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> Do you actually want to say what your challenge was with your with your oh, name? Yeah, so we named these guys after the, the national, uh, national park. parks. So whoever got them has to take them to the national park that they were named after, whether they kept the name or not. Mm -hmm. Which a lot of people seem like they're keeping the name. Which a is lot of them cool. are. Yeah. yeah, I know. He said that he's keeping Smokey. Yeah, he's like That's Smokey awesome. fits me, bro. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. A, you know, yeah. Smoke, man. Yeah, so, like, he, he's all about it. Yeah, and then he gets to take him to the. 
Yeah. You know, the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Yeah, on the way We do home. have a couple that are, like, kind of hard that are Alaska and uh, Samoa was the islands of Samoa. I got Glacier, so kind of easy for me. So uh, The coolest one. The coolest yeah, one. Which one are you guys keeping again? Uh, we're keeping, keeping Cat May and Kahakai. Uh, Cat May, the, that, that national park. Oh my god, look at that face, everybody. Look yes. at the split face. He said, a sweet boy. Oh my. So, this is Cat May. She's my little girl. And this is Kahakai, our new little boy. Oh my god. So Cat May, Alaska. And Kahakai, Hawaii. Hawaii. He's kind of hard because you, there's a lot of checkpoints and things you got to get to be able to take him to a yeah. Hawaii island. So we might have to take him to a different one, but it'd be okay. Oh huh? my God. That face on. on I on, know. She has like... the sweetest little face. Oh I fell in love with her. Dude, they're like Lady and the Tramp because like he's scruffy. I know. He's all like she looks fluffy like scamp. compared to the other ones. Oh my God. In her little God, face. Yeah, you look like face, the Tramp. Bro. Not to take anything away from Glacier, but my God, that face. No, oh, yeah, they all are so beautiful. You guys, we didn't even say what mix they were. Yeah, so they're Catahoula Leopard Dog uh, Pit Lab mixes. Um, Dad is a pit lab. He was my retired service dog. And uh, Mom is the most underrated of the working dogs, uh, being the Catahoula. And they they're are... hog hunting dogs from Louisiana. But I wanted to show you guys off, at least in this vlog. Go give them a follow, everybody. They are phenomenal people. Um, they have a zoo. Legitimately, they have uh, yeah, yeah. another... I don't know, what do they call the again? Sugar gliders. Sugar gliders. Two of them, Elsa and Cece, two females, because yep. you got to keep them in pairs. Really? Yep, because if they're by themselves, as much as, even if we spent a bunch of time with them, there's just things we can't do for them. Like, mm. we can't get in the pouch and cuddle with them like another sugar glider. And in the wild, they would live yep. in colonies of what, babe? Like 60 to 100 gliders. Yeah, huge colonies. So. They're from Indonesia. We had to get a second one, which made our cage bigger. But we would not change it at all, dude. We're, we love our cats. We've got two cats as well. And the animals have made life on the road really incredible. There's one cat over here. Just... Yeah, that's Chakra, our little Siamese. And then Aura's up there gazing out the window. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey, oh, my. Um, I also believe that I was the very luckiest of lucky people that got Glacier. The prettiest female yes, in the yes. litter. <laughs> and, and the dual colored eyes. For yes. sure, yeah. Cat me. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. Catahoulas, tree climbers. <laughs> gotcha. and, she, and she learned that from Glacier, Jared's Yeah, movie. Glacier was what, the first to do it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Cat me watched her and was like, oh, I'm going to do what she's doing. <laughs> they're tree climbers. That's what yes, they do. They yeah, yeah. And that's why they'll climb up your body like it's nothing, too, because they're. I met them randomly in Colorado. It was like, like in, in front of our friend's house. Yeah. And you guys were like, "Yeah, we're gonna mate our dogs." And I was like, "Dude, sign me up." I need it. Uh, as soon as I saw Marley, the dad, I was like, "Dude, I'm in." Marley is he's the seller. He's the selling point. He's the whole reason we did the litter. You know. It's yeah. Like a, we wanted to carry on his his service dog um, bloodline, and actually, Smokey is gonna be. Um, Case's service dog, Glacier is going to be your service yep, dog. Yep, for and sure. And then uh, Denali is going to be the Hawking family service dog uh, just to help them through life on the road because this can be a challenge, man. And when you have yeah. it, when you have a challenge like this, it does make it a little bit harder, but it also makes it so much easier. Well, I can also say firsthand that um, being at Schoolypalooza, like, man, I want to do a bus. Like, School of Palooza, this is a nomadic event, so there's a ton of vans here as well. Yeah, oh yeah. Ambulances, everything, but like, man, I want to do a van. I want to do a bus. I want to do a bus bad. Uh, so give them a follow. Uh, the Bohemian Nomads, I wanted to give them the priority of the vlog mostly because, I mean, crap, they have 11 puppies. Oh <laughs> my her. goodness. And they, they like chill at the top. They're like, I just want to be just, up here, guys. She's just kicking it, I'm just bro. trying to see everything. I don't want over. Don't <laughs> and then, they, yeah, they tip back. Oh, man, they are hysterical. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She looks like a human just standing right just there. Just chilling. Yeah, that's Glacier, right? Yep, yeah. Glacier. yeah. I don't even know my own dog, but... No, yeah, that's Glacier. I can't tell them all apart. That's Glacier, everybody, yeah. for everybody that wants to know. So she's got, like, the her face looks like she's got tears running down it. Like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I got that eyeliner like Naomi does. Uh, and then we were also talking about how she's got that sleeve tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Jared needed to have a tattoo, babe. I need it. girl. I know. Oh, you you're going to fall on your head, girlfriend. Let's oh, my goodness. Let her do that. Let her down.
All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna hang out with them for a minute and have my coffee, morning. We're gonna walk around, we're gonna see some other rigs, but we're gonna tour them later, we're gonna do a lot. Vlog it up. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm driving right now. Might be a little loud, but I got this one on my lap. So I'm not gonna be able to do the vlog much longer. Pretty much what it comes down to is I left my school in Palooza. I was only there for the night. It was very dusty, very dirty. Honestly, I just I did a couple tours and I felt it was best for me to head back to Portland. Sorry I didn't show you guys more Schooly Palooza. There was just, it's hard to vlog in those situations. You know, it's not unorganized, but like there's no structure. There's no like, there's just, everybody's talking. There's no like, hey, let me whip out the camera and just kind of walk around. It's, it's you, know, you can do that, yes, but that's just, that's not what I do. Um, and I was there to pick up, you know, the puppy for the most part, see some friends. All right, guys. Well, I am actually recording this the day that I'm going to be releasing this video. So this is the end of the vlog, but I wanted to show this little girl off yet again. Okay. This is Glacier, everybody adorable and a, a terror all in one um i mean it's puppies guys and i'm still trying to figure out this whole like you know single dog dad thingamajiggy this is all of her toys i have an abundance of toys for her and, I, and again i just wanted to say i'm sorry that i didn't really film all that much at schooly palooza um those events are so massive and there's so much going on it's uh, it, it, it's honestly it takes away from the moment if I have my camera in my hand and I'm going around and meeting people or seeing people or just anything like that, it's just, it takes a lot away from the experience and, and just, just the moment itself. Uh, or I'm going to be doing more events this year, so there will be a lot more happening. And she loves my lap. She is, this one imprint, oh, she imprinted on me like a baby duck, I swear. We're gonna go to the shop later. Uh, and I'm gonna start working on some new projects uh, as well as try to finish up the van. We're, I'm gonna start working on some some tables that I wanna that I wanna do uh, some new designs. This is going to be part of launching Tachi Designs. I was very serious when I said I might be doing a bus. I'm I'm probably going to be doing a bus, but I'm like a lot of people know me. Like I'm gonna go not all out, but I'm gonna like I'm gonna design the crap out of it first off. It's gonna be a true tiny house, like. I'm probably gonna do the radiant floor heating by Van Life Tech. I'm probably gonna do a 48 volt system. I'm gonna make it like as close as an off grid house, a cabin in the woods as possible. It's not gonna have a cabin feel to it, um, but I think I'm still a few months away from figuring all that out and getting all that out there. So give me some time on getting all that together. Uh, that'll be pretty much the, the first tiny house build by Tachi Designs. Um, I've got a couple tables that I'm gonna do before the Tiny Fest event in March. Um, you guys will see those uh, take place because I'm gonna do them at my shop. We get a lot of training with her, <laughs> but she's amazing. Thank you for the kisses. All right, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> Say bye, Glacier.